What is up everyone? So today I wanna to talk about the most recent news that came out about Facebook, and I'm sure you've already heard about it by now. Uh, it's been all over the news, uh, and that is a report that came out about uh, Cambridge Analytica came out with this report, basically stating that Facebook has been misusing the data that it collects from its users. Uh, and I read through that report, and there's really nothing in there uh, that we don't already know. Uh, we already know that you know Facebook collects uh, data every time that you go on their apps, uh, such as Facebook, they own Instagram as well. Uh, anytime that you go on their apps, they're collecting data on uh, any sort of like dislikes and likes that you you have, and then they pro provide that information uh, to advertisers, um, and then advertisers can uh, pick out a niche uh, in the market and advertise to a certain niche. And basically what they're saying is leading up to the election, uh, they gave that information out to third parties uh, and those third parties uh, were misusing that data. But I mean, really that's what they've been doing all along. Like I said, they, that's what they do. That's what their business model is, is just collecting data and uh, letting other businesses and advertisers come on there and advertise for the businesses. And really that's what makes Facebook such a valuable company is the ability to uh, you know, go in there and select a certain niche and advertise to just a certain audience. Uh, you know, you see, with old media, um, that is really in structural decline. And basically that's why I think this story has been covered so so much and pushed by the media so much. Uh, you know, basically, you know, they've been in structural decline uh, for the last five years, really since social media uh, became popular and that form of advertising has become popular. Um, you know, a lot of businesses are realizing that you know, advertising on traditional uh, media and television uh, is not as effective as it used to be. And when they can go on Facebook and select out certain niches and audiences, that's a much more effective form of advertisement and much more cost effective as well. And that's what, at the end of the day, the brands care about is uh, making sure that the money that they spend on advertising is uh, effective and well spent. So, you know, that's really why I think this is being pushed so much by this mainstream media uh, is because, you know, they're pissed off at all these you know, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, um, you know, that's really a dying industry, the, you know, mainstream media and traditional television, uh, you know, Netflix, like Netflix, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, they're really taking uh, everything from traditional media. Um, and, you know, I think that traditional media um, as it is today will be dead in the next 10 years. Um, you've already seen it, like I said, you know, decline so much in the last five years. Uh, I think that trend is just beginning, and that's why you're seeing so much pushback on this story. They're just kind of trying to grab anything that they can um, and try to push it as much as they can. Um, it almost sounds a little bit conspiracy theory-ish, but that's really why I think you know such a big deal is being made out about this. And another reason why I see this being made such a big deal about um, is you know Democrats are still really pissed that they lost. Um, you know it seems pretty simple and again kind of conspiracy theory theory-ish um, to say that, but it's very true, you know, they're still pissed. They're gonna try to find anything that they can on, you know, an excuse or reason why they lost. And, you know, they're saying, oh, well, Donald Trump misused that data or companies, third-party companies misused that data. And the data that they took from that was misused. I mean, newsflash, you know, Hillary Clinton used that information too to advertise to certain audiences as well. Um, so there's really nothing new with that. Um, you know, both politicians use that. Actually, Hillary Clinton spent more on um, advertising on Facebook than Donald Trump did by a very wide margin. So I don't really know why they're trying to twist this uh, in, you know, Donald Trump. They've been trying to do that ever since he won, uh, really on anything. You know, I'm not trying to make this political, but it's pretty easy to see, you know, that they're trying to latch on to anything that they can and make um, anything that they find uh, as big a deal as possible as to why you know they lost that election and as far as the stock goes you know it it's come down a lot uh, it had a high around 195 uh, that was back in january i believe um, and now it's trading at 160 dollars per share um, right before this came out it was at 185 dollars a share uh, so it, it dropped about 15 percent uh, from its recent highs and i have been buying on the way down as well um, I probably started buying a little bit too early because I could see this going down more. It really just depends on, you know, how big of a deal they decide to make out of this. And it sounds like they're going to try to drag this out as long as they can. Um, you know, I just read that they came out with uh, four new lawsuits over the weekend. Elon Musk said that he deleted his Facebook. And I also saw that Tim Cook came out with, um, basically, he said that 
Uh, regulators should be really strictly monitoring this and come out with new regulations, um, which is kind of ironic because you know Apple has been caught, you know, with iPhones and MacBooks, you know, recording uh, voice recordings on. Uh, some of their products. You know, that's the part, big part of Apple's business as well is collecting uh, users' data and selling that to third-party companies. Um, so I thought that was pretty ironic that he came out with that statement. And the reason why I've been buying this on the way down, even in the face of, you know, all this bad news, is that, you know, they have the best business model and best advertising. And at the end of the day, you know, businesses don't care um, about any of this negative press and how uh, Facebook is handling its data. Uh, what they care about is making sure that the money that they spend on advertising uh, is well spent and effective. And uh, Facebook has you know, the most effective advertising out there, um, as well as Instagram, which they obviously own Instagram. And they're also trading at a very uh, reasonable valuation, really, for how quickly they're growing. Uh, they're trading at 30 times this year's earnings and 17 times uh, next year's earnings. And as quickly as they're growing, that's pretty cheap uh, valuation. Uh, they are growing their revenues quarter over quarter at a 40% growth rate, which is uh, very impressive for paying 17 times uh, next year's earnings. Um, that's why I am, you know, buying the stock on the way down. I think this presents a great buying opportunity. You know, I think I could be a little bit early. You know, it, it really depends on, you know, like I said, I think they are going to try to drag this out and make a big example out of Facebook um, as much as they can, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, they're you know a huge company. Uh, their market cap was 500 billion. That obviously came back came down after this report. Um, I think they're trading around 450 uh, billion market cap. Um, this is a huge company. Like I said, they have the most effective form of advertising and most popular uh, social media platforms: um, Facebook and Instagram, uh, Twitter and Snapchat. I think Snapchat's going to die. Um, you're seeing a bunch of Snapchat users just stop using the app, especially with the most recent update. And they're using Instagram stories uh, instead of Snapchat. Um, and Instagram has been a very quickly growing uh, segment for them. And that's another reason why I'm so bullish on uh, Facebook. So real quick, we're gonna jump into my computer. I'm gonna show you a chart of Facebook and kind of show you some of the technical levels uh, that are present with this stock and see you know, what, what might be a good buying opportunity. So as you can see, Facebook had a high uh, back in February of about 195 per share. Um, and then right before this happened, they had a high of around 185. And as you can see, they're trading around $160 a share right now. Um, and this represents a low, looks like they had a low back in October of about 160 bucks. Um, but other than that, the next level of support is around this $145, $250 range. Um, so I think it could definitely test these lows uh, if this you know, continues to be an issue. But other than that, as you can see you know, down here on the RSI and MACD, uh, this is very oversold. That doesn't mean that uh, it's gonna stop falling, but just from these technical levels, uh, it is very oversold. And then also the next thing I wanna point out is uh, the yellow line, that is the 200 day moving average. And it did drop below that, which is uh, pretty somewhat bearish, actually. But um, I think this is going to rebound from here. Um, I don't see this being a big issue in the future. But you never know. I think it looks like they might try to drag this out as much as they can. Um, but valuation-wise, this uh, is very attractive, uh, and that's what I am. Uh, the reason why I'm buying this uh, on the way down. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I just wanted to go over, you know. All the news that's come out about Facebook, uh, it's you know all over the news, um, and like I said, I think this is for one main reason because we knew what Facebook's uh, business model was, um, so this is well known what they've been using uh, their data for. Um, so I really think you know mainstream media is just trying to push this as much as possible, um, and I think this you know eventually will die down. But you never know; they could just try to drag this out as uh, long as they can. Uh, which would be very negative for the stock and it could take you know a long time for this to recover but i think eventually it will um, they have a great business model and very quickly growing revenue so yeah that's it for this video guys uh, if you made it to the end don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you think about the facebook and all the news that has come out about this uh, whether you think it's just all bs uh, or if you think this is a very serious issue and it's going to negatively affect the stock for a while um, just leave a comment down below on what you think, 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.